Whisper AI is a speech-to-text transcriber. It supports over 96 languages. Let's see how you can use it. Open the Google Drive. Click on the plus new button at the top. In the drop-down select More and then click on the Connect More Apps option. This will open up the Google Workspace Marketplace. Here in the search bar, type Google Collaboratory. Click on the first app that you see in the results. Then click on the Install button. Provide the necessary information to continue. Choose your Google account. Within a few seconds, Google Collaboratory will be installed. As you can see it has been installed successfully. And it is now connected to your Google Drive as well. Now we'll start configuring it. Click on the plus new button at the top. In the drop-down, select More and then select the Google Collaboratory option. This will open a new project. The first thing we'll do is change the name of the page so that I can find it later. In the top bar, click on Runtime. From the drop-down, you need to select the Change Runtime Type option. In the Hardware Accelerator, you need to select the GPU option for better performance. Next, we'll install Whisper AI. For this paste this code in the code area. The first line is for installing the Whisper AI from GitHub. And the second line is a prerequisite. Click on the play icon at the left. The code execution will take a few seconds to complete. Once done, you can drag and drop your audio file here in the left panel. It says files will be deleted later, so you should keep them somewhere else too. Now the file is uploaded, we'll run Whisper AI. For this, click on the plus code option at the top. In this field, you need to enter this command. First says that it is Whisper AI, and under the quotes, you need to enter the name of the audio file. In the end, you need to define the model. After that, click on the play icon at the left. The process will take a few seconds to complete. The speed will depend on the model you choose. You can see the result is generated. We have got a transcript along with timestamps. You can see the quality, it has all punctuation, capitalization, and whatnot. In the left panel, click on this icon if your files are still not visible. The transcript is created in JSON, SRT, TSV, TXT, and VTT format. You can use SRT or VTT for YouTube captions because they have timestamps. To download, click on the three dots and select the download option. This is the TXT version of the file. Let's download the SRT version of the file and let's see how it looks. You can see, we got speech to text with proper timestamps. You still may need to make do changes otherwise, it's nearly perfect. Let's play the audience side by side to see the accuracy. At Asopedia, we are passionate about creating high quality videos that educate, entertain and inspire our viewers. Our channel covers a wide range of topics from artificial intelligence to gadgets. So, there is something for everyone to enjoy. By subscribing our channel, you will never miss a new video and will be a part of a community of like-minded individuals who shares a thirst for knowledge. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.